Hi friends, just a quick news update which I believe is prophecy fulfilling and also helps us to understand the role of America in Bible prophecy. In a couple of news articles this week we have seen that hundreds of tanks and military equipment and also thousands, thousands of American troops have landed in Europe just in the past few days. Now the reason they give for this military build-up is to secure peace and freedom against the so-called Russian threat. Well, I've not seen any Russian threat myself, but as we know, the mass-controlled media outlets like CNN, BBC and the rest of them, they play up these so-called threats to make us think we need to be protected from some evil ruler. But anyway, the point of this is, why does America feel the need to police the world? Have you, ever, have you ever thought about this? We even had a news article recently with the former NATO chief calling for America to be the official policeman of the world. And why does America need to have so many military bases all over the world? Did you know America has literally hundreds, hundreds of military bases all over the world? All other nations only have a handful each, but America has hundreds. Why? The US is easily the most powerful country to have ever existed, and it certainly spends more on its military budget than any other country does today. That's all pretty well known, but less well known is the fact that the US has around 800 military bases around the globe. This map can't even show that many dots. These are just 200 or so dots to give you an idea of where these bases are clustered. These bases are everything from massive military compounds to small airstrips in the middle of the ocean. If you combined all the foreign bases that every other nation has outside of its own borders, you get a total of about 30. There's never been a country with such a massive global presence. There's not a place on earth that's not still covered by US military influence. This includes everything from naval compounds like those in Guantanamo Bay, to small drone bases like those in the Horn of Africa, to little known posts in the middle of the Indian Ocean like that of Diego Garcia. These 800 bases around the world represent a massive system of military power that isn't often talked about. This is all because America is to fulfill its role as the second beast of Revelation 13. So many people have never made this connection, and yet it is so clear and very important to understand. Let's take a look at what Revelation 13 says about the second beast. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven in the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Say unto them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword, and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause, that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads. So what main points can we get from this? We can see that this second beast kingdom will be the nation to enforce the rules and policies of the first beast kingdom upon the world. And if America is the second beast, then whose rules and policies is the US going to enforce upon the world? Well, the Supreme Court justices in America are mainly made up of Roman Catholics. Congress is made up of a very large proportion of Roman Catholics, and many of the US leaders were educated in Jesuit universities. 
So whose policies and rules do you think America will cause the world to submit to? Yes, the Pope and the Papal Church of Rome. It's really important to make this connection, friends, so that we can know what is to come. The image of the Papal Beast is being formed in America, a church-state union, with the church telling the state what to do. And now we have a president who was largely put in place by the church, then we could very well see the image being fully formed in America very soon. Catholics are an important part of the American story. America has been strengthened by hardworking Catholics. From New York to California, the Catholic story is truly unique, and it's a great story. Clergy and lay Catholics across the country have made countless contributions to the American success and the American success story. Washington politicians have been hostile to the church. They have been hostile to Catholics. They have been hostile to the members of Catholicism. My administration will stand side by side with the American Catholics to promote the values we all share as Christians and Americans. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. We will make America great again. So what is the real reason? why America is placing its military all over the world to fulfill its role as the second beast of Revelation 13, ready to enforce the world to submit to the rules and policies of the Vatican. Now I'm not saying that America and the papacy are the only two kingdoms to fulfill Bible prophecy in the last days, as Revelation 17 confirms that the ten kings, which represent other nations of the world, will also give their power and authority to the papal beast. But Revelation 13 confirms that it is America and the papacy at the forefront of world policy, and America will be at the forefront of enforcing the mark of the papacy upon the world. End time prophecy is fulfilling, friends, and we need to be wide awake to what is coming. Please visit our End Times Prophecy website, where you will find many in-depth studies regarding the two beast kingdoms of Revelation 13 and the mark of the beast that is to come.